Hi everyone. I have a couple little announcements to share with you and a, surprisingly perhaps, a reading suggestion. And let me start with the reading suggestion because um, it might seem a little bit odd for this channel, but at the same time when I tell you about the background, it will make a lot of sense, I think. As you know, I started this journey to explore a, a genre of music that was before then unfamiliar with me and I have been immensely enjoying the whole project and journey up to this point and I'm sure I will continue to do so. But it has stirred some questions not only in my own mind along the way but I have received questions from many of you listeners and, and Virgin Rock community as well. And that is because sometimes I will say something is beautiful or I don't love something or this is clearly a work of art. Perhaps I enjoy it or I don't, it doesn't matter, but I still identify it as, as artistic and with artistic integrity. And sometimes you write to me and say, um, what makes you say that it's art? Or, or why do you call this art? so strongly and this one not so strongly. Well, isn't it funny that art is something so, that we all value so much and we speak of art as if everybody knows what it is, but when it comes right down to defining it and making a definition for art to judge whether something is art or not, it's kind of hard to do and throughout history, there's been a lot of disagreement on it. And I think probably if all of us were to get into one room, I don't know if any one of us would have the same definition as the other. So it's really a fascinating topic. What is art? And of course, I, as an artist, I believe that my work is art. I am committed to my art. On the other hand, maybe somebody else would say, it's not so much art. Fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. But it's, it's worth sitting down and thinking about what really makes art be art. And we aren't the first ones to be asking this question. It is a question that has been discussed for centuries, all the way back to the ancient um, classic masters. Well, I decided to start exploring some of these um, questions, some of the questions around this idea a bit more extensively than I have in the past. Being an artist, I just assume I'm an artist. But what does it mean to be an artist? And so I decided to start with this book, Leo Tolstoy's book entitled, What is Art? Now, of course, I understand that his conclusion and his definitions are not um, the only ones out there. They're not the ones that are definitive beyond all argument and, and doubt, but I just decided I would start with Tolstoy. I've known of this book for a long time. I have never read it. And I thought it's time for me to sit down and read it. And then I thought maybe some of you would like to read it, or maybe some of you have read it. So, it's just a suggestion. If you're looking for something to read and you want to tackle a question as ambiguous as art, what is art? Maybe you'd like to read it alongside me and we can share ideas. And even if you don't wish to read it, I would love to hear your comments on what you view as art and why, and perhaps some of your um, other reasons along with that. So. I guess this is a topic we'll be exploring some more on this channel in the future, but just a little starting point for now. Now, a couple more announcements, which perhaps aren't so profound, but still interesting, I think. First of all, many of you have suggested along the way that we, that I start a wish list on Amazon so that if you wish to help me with some of the things I think that I would like or need for this the continuation of this project, you would know where to go to look at what I am wishing for. And well, I've actually done that now. And it is up and running and I believe it's publicly viewable. 
and you will find the link in the description here. Check it out if you want. I'm sure its contents will change along the way as some wishes are granted and others come about. But it's open and available for any of you who would like to see it and perhaps grant me a wish. And in the same vein, uh, many of you have also said that you really wish that I had a P.O. box or a public address where you could send me things, items, perhaps uh, books on music, perhaps um, recordings, LPs, uh, perhaps memorabilia, perhaps different items that you have mentioned that you would like to share with me. And perhaps some of you have other things that you would also like to send. Well, I've done that too now. And I now have a publicly posted mailing address where you can send items if you wish to gift them to me. And you can find that in the description and it will also be posted on my coffee and patreon pages and probably in the community too and actually this post office box is already up and running i have received my first piece of mail from a generous patron who um i i don't have permission to share the name here publicly so i will refrain from doing that although i would love to tell you who sent it to me regardless I would like to take this moment to express my thanks to that person for sending me my first piece of mail in this mailbox. And it was a, well, actually, I won't tell you because we made a little video about it with me opening my first package. So check it out here. Okay, well, I just got my first gift in the mail. Let's see what it is. It came from my channel admirer. Oh, oh, oh. The complete Beatles recording sessions. This is the official story of the Abbey Road years. Introductory interview with Paul McCartney. Oh, wow. And the pictures and notes. It looks a bit like a diary journal thursday 11th of november monday 15th of november friday 17th of february okay this is going to be a lot of fun thank you for sending this to me and um, i'm going to enjoy it a lot and i'm sure that everybody on the channel will get to enjoy bits of it too